sweet mistress, whereas I love you, nothing at all regarding your riches and substance, least of all to your personal beauty, demeanor, and wit, I commend me unto you. Never a whit sorry to hear report of your good welfare, for such your conditions are that you be worthy for. Of you have no living man to be a bore. Of every honest man to be taken for a woman inclined to vice, nothing at all. To virtue giving her due fright, wherefore concerning marriage. She hath thought such a fine paragon as ne'er an honest man bought. And now by these presents I do you advertise that I am minded to marry you. And no I feel good in substance, I can be content to take you as you are. If you will be my wife, you shall be assured for the time of my life I will treat you right well. For good raiment and fair you shall not be kept, but in sorrow and shame you shall in no wise live. At your own liberty, do and say what you may, you shall never please me but when you are married. I will be all sad when you are sorry. I will be very glad when you keep your heart in. I will be unkind at no time. And me shall you much gently find. But all things contrary to your will and mine shall be done otherwise. I will not be behind you. And as for all they that would do you wrong, I will so help and maintain you, shall not live long. Nor any foolish ghost shall come to you. But I, I who will say nay, will stick by you till I die. That's good mistress custom, the Lord you save and keep. For me, what is the ghost of whether I wake or sleep? 